From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel, for she is immortal. Hello, and welcome back to another episode. So, last episode, I was fighting against sleep deprivation. This episode, I uh, don't care about this. Wait, maybe. Do we have a soldier? Um, but yeah, no, it was... I, uh, after I recorded last episode, I went to sleep and slept for like 11 hours and then woke up ate food did a little bit around the apartment slept woke up uh i took a nap i should say um did a few things and then went to bed so uh it's safe to say i am caught up back on sleep finally um so a super ufo sounds kind of fun that's not the super UFO. Where did that super UFO go? Am I just like schizophrenic? No, that's not the right one. That's the reduce enemy strength. This is the advent resource cache. Oh, here we go. Find enemy flight path of a super UFO. What does that entail exactly? We haven't really done anything with a UFO yet. I don't know. Do we even need to? Do we care? We have, like, we have a codex brain. We can do the black site thing. We can do all this. Yeah, do we need to go to a UFO for any particular reason? I don't think we do. And I, I, part of me wants to, but part of me also wants to continue raiding uh, these types of buildings. So I think I'm gonna do that instead because, uh, yeah. We're on episode, what, this is episode 93, I think? I think it's about time we finish taking over. We are quite overdue. My ideal situation is that we end this series on episode 100. That would be kind of cool. An exact number, um... And sooner rather than later. It's like so this episode, <laughs> I, I don't want to go. I don't want this series to get into the 100s. As as I am enjoying playing this game, but who oh boy, 100 episodes. That is a little more than I anticipated this taking. I mean, to be fair, the last uh, Long War series took what 80 something episodes. So, I guess it would make sense seeing as how we're going for total global domination and not just the end of the game. Uh, okay, well, I've clicked go like five times. Okay, well, that, that's probably why. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll start out with this immediately. Anything of note to uh, notice about these guys? Not really. All right, let's go. Move to infiltrate the network tower. Locate the access point and hack in to seize the broadcast signal. All right. So let's see what we they see. Police, but their specs are military grade. Okay. Um. Well, we see our first pod, and we really did bring two flamethrower guys here, huh? This is probably gonna be their weakest Both map, engaged. seeing as how both of them. Need to get really close to attack enemies, and they have, yeah, they have both really close range weapons, and any robot or any enemy that's not made of um, tissue is gonna be a problem for us. So let's hope there's not that many robots here. Uh, I think we're gonna s engage them next turn. I am searching for it. Leave the security zone immediately, or you may be Ooh, Okay, maybe they'll get a little bit closer. Oh, well, maybe that team will get a little bit closer. Hopefully they group up at least, and we can hit them with a fire grenade. And they don't immediately spot us. Okay, no, no fire grenade, I don't think. Mm. 
Okay, how can we deal with this? You're not going to be close enough to hit him with that. And... Oh, wait, you... Oh, I say you... Oh, no, that's spray. Is your flamethrower close enough? Oh, it's so very close. If we scoot an inch forward, we actually could torch him. And I think that's the way to go here. Okay, let's scoot just a hair closer and just torch these guys. Alright, so that should put or light them all on fire. Wow, they got closer. That's actually a surprise. And the problem is this dude's gonna go into like full cover somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be kind of a problem. Like, this mech I feel like we can deal with. Where did the drone go? Why do I see a fourth health? Oh, there it is. It's it's hidden in the cloud of smoke. Okay. Um. So we can deal with the drone because he's right here, and we can deal with the mech. But dealing with this guy, we can't even see anymore. It's gonna be a problem. Maybe we could come in and flank him. Uh, we could combat protocol the drone, and that should kill it. Okay, so that gets rid of the drone. Um, you give you a chance to hit that. Okay, so let's have you. Yeah, we'll just have you shoot and then maybe rapid fire. We'll see. Take damage. Okay. And then how much health does he have left? Six. How much? Oh, no, we can rapid fire for free. Okay, yeah, we'll just do it. There we go. Two crits. That looks pretty good. Okay, can we move forward without revealing a third pod? That is the question. No. No, we can't. Because of course not. Well, now we're being flanked by everything. Okay, well, I'm glad every enemy on the map is right here. Because I would sure hate if they were spread out at all. Okay. Well, I guess we can augment our speed and then walk up to here. Okay, there he is. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, no. Yeah, I'd say we could get a closer shot uh, and get a bonus from uh, close or close in court, close quarter combat or whatever that ability is called. But we don't really need to. Um, before we commit to that, actually, I think it'd probably be better to rapid fire one of the vipers. Um, ooh, you are out of position. Okay, is there any way you could, like, torch? No, not even close. So is there any way you could burn all of these guys, but that's just not gonna happen. Also, these guys are actually on fire, right? Like, I, I just don't trust fire anymore in this game. Okay, what if we launch a grenade over here to try to destroy their cover... And then uh, rapid fire with. There we go. Uh, rapid fire with our samurai. Very interesting launch angle. Okay, we destroyed one of their covers, and that'll be enough. Alright, this should. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, you know, we could. We could just push up, honestly. Because you have. You have Untouchable. And we killed this guy, right? No, we still need to kill him. Okay, what's the plan? Do we target this guy or this guy? 
guess we just move over here and take the blade storm. Well, actually, oh yeah, uh, does he have a good shot on anybody? Yeah, he has a good shot on him. Okay, yeah, let's try to deal with you first. Honestly, just screw it. Just Hover's overrated. Just stand there. You'll probably be fine. I doubt they're even going to shoot at you. They're going to shoot at our flamethrower guy who's out of cover. You know, if all three of them group up here, that'd be a perfect spot for our flame uh, flamethrower attack. Okay, so blaze storm will kill you. So hopefully the vipers will not immediately gun someone down. Okay, if we're really lucky, the next shot will miss. I think we have a healer on this team, right? We have a medic. Wow, I'm actually surprised because we're in cover from your uh, from your angle. Yeah, we're in cover from you, so that's actually very impressive that you landed the hit from all the way over there. All right, well, you know, we can just teleport across the map and uh, murder you. So uh, get pranked. And then come up to here. Grab the loot. Thank you. And murder you. Fantastic. I will ignore the condescension and take that as a compliment. Um, we do have a medic, right? You're a medic. Yeah, you you gremlin heal. Let's let's top you off real quick. And uh, let's we'll just scoot you over here. On my way. And torch these guys round two. How long are you burning for? Yeah, two turns. And you're burning for one turn. Yeah, screw it. Take the shot. And so you have multiple shots anyway, so might as well just start laying into them. Uh, I guess you can just kind of overwatch over there. You can overwatch. You can, like, I don't know, move somewhere in between. If they could land near you, that'd be incredible. Like, within your overwatch range, I mean. You know, I wonder how close combat specialists would work with a flamethrower. That'd be pretty fun. Okay, not quite close enough to activate our flamethrower, it seems. Nice hit. However, they are pretty grouped up. I think we can get a flamethrower off after all. Um... What if we just, like... Can we... Yeah, what if we augment our speed and just come over here? It's gonna be one of the juiciest flamethrower attacks we've had, like, all season, really. Alright, let's move right here. And that does reveal the turret, but we can deal with that. No, not hunker down. Come on. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you... I was thinking you had this flamethrower one with a wider cone okay well that's fine we can just do this then we'll activate i guess we'll burning rush and move over to here yeah let's just do that slightly less juicy
Okay. So, you're on fire, you're on fire. Did that blind him? I don't know how that works. Uh, are you on fire? You're on fire. So, everything over here should more or less die. Um, let's... Kill you. It is said all dogs. Can we deal with this turret? Do I have to move you back? Yeah, probably. I don't think we might be able to get you in range. Not quite close enough to take out the turret, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, then let's... Nope. I had switched characters. There we go. Um, we'll move over to here. Roger. And then... Oh, you can still see the turret. Well, that's annoying. Can you... What, rescue protocol? Why, why is that the only person you can use that on? Continuing perimeter sleep. Why is... Why is that the only person you can give an extra action to? Man, this ability sucks. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna hack it then. Ooh, I kind of hope this doesn't immediately activate the last pod. So it would be kind of annoying. However, I have a sneaking suspicion that's exactly what's about to happen. No, actually, that's kind of surprising. Uh, Alright. Okay, take a shot at whatever you have a chance to hit. Very nice. And then we'll have you kill this guy, which will give you close encounters and light him up, I think, at the same time. Unless it doesn't. Let's let's find out. We'll kill you. You get another action? Oh, you do get another action. Very cool. You know, it's nice when these abilities just kind of, like, work together like that. Sometimes they just overwrite each other and don't work. Like, uh, Death From Above and, um... The other ability I can't think of the name of off the top of my head. On the move. Um, yeah, you just chill here, I guess. Okay, so this will be them getting revealed. So the turret, unfortunately, can't see anybody. I don't know why the turrets get, like, movement like that. That's very bizarre. Okay, let's move you forward. And just launch a grenade in here. Hopefully destroying some cover in the process. No cover destruction. I swear, Long War has to make it so grenades just don't blow up cover. Because, like, I feel like in normal, like, vanilla XCOM, uh, cover is destroyed, like, all the time. But in Long War, like, you can just chuck grenade after grenade and, like, like flimsy railing like this will just never go away. Okay, yeah, we can likely kill the Elite Spectre. That'd be nice, because they're probably the scariest thing over there. Did you kill it? Oh, so close. Honestly, that would have been really cool if you did. Um, do you have... You do have augmented speed. Fantastic. Okay, let's have you zip on, on up way. here, too. This seems like a perfect spot for another grenade. What's the range on your grenades? Yeah, I think if we move you up to here, that's probably close enough. Oh, 
Oh, not quite. Okay, whatever. Take the shot. Hopefully this will destroy some cover or... I don't know. I don't, maybe if we're lucky it'll kill the other guy, but I doubt it. We'd have to roll seven. Yeah. Well, we did finally destroy cover. It just didn't destroy what I needed to. Okay, kill this guy. Fantastic. Round on target. Um, your teleport is still on cooldown, unfortunately. And you're like miles away, so let's have you start trying to catch up here. Checking mapping protocol for nearby military emplacements that require assistance. Right, I guess you overwatch, and then probably just run in here and murder this man. And we'll just blade storm wherever the other guy is. Actually, is there even uh, another guy? Hey. Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, can we kill him in one go? Well, you have untouchable, so I will find a way. He'll likely shoot at you, and if he tries to, there we go. Okay, don't even have to worry about it. Big crits. Does it hurt? Okay, that was a very densely packed mission. Uh, can we... I kind of want to get you over here so you're the one who does it, but I also don't want to run you across the map. So, Correct. instead our samurai is going to be the one who hacks us, unless there's like a really good reward that I want. Hmm, okay, don't care. Intel... There's a zero percent chance. All right, go big or go home. I have intelligence. Status confirmed. We have Oop. control of the network tower. Oh, the Let me skip out. this. Very nice. Ooh, a lot of promotions. I was going to say, I'm surprised you didn't get a promotion, but I think you're already max rank, so that's probably why. Alright, so speaking of max rank, uh, so Chemical Storm actually seems pretty cool. We saw that uh, all of these seem good, so we're just going to grab all of them, because we have such a ridiculous amount of XP that I'm not, or AP, that I'm not 100% sure how we got all of them. But Lethal, really good. Kill them all, very, very good. Reaper, also very good, especially seeing how you can crit for like 20 damage a hit sometimes very good all right for you uh, does rapid fire work with this i'm willing to bet no i'm pretty sure we already tested this nightmare fuel chemical storm kill them all because i'm not sure if that works but i'm very curious to see if it does and then rapid fire because why not and then you pass it to discharge would be nice Emergency protocol, very good. And then chain lightning, because just stunning four people is incredible, really. Alright, so that went pretty well. And let's just uh, hop right into the next mission that will likely be done here in just five seconds. Uh, honestly, let's just assault the facility right now. I think we have everybody for that team. Yeah, this is Keystone. And yeah, we have everybody here. Let's send them out. And yeah, we're just kind of rapid firing them at this point. Like, for the most part, some of these lower ranking missions are pretty easy to just blitz through. Uh, these HQ missions are still a bit of a tricky situation, but. They're just the sheer number of enemies we face, but for the most part, they're still not the hardest thing in the world. There's just a lot of enemies to deal with. The hardest part is just finding all of them, because good lord, they like to hide. Okay, why does it stop me every five seconds? Every time I scan, it's just like, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Bro, please, let me scan for more than a second. There we go. Okay, um, liberation. I don't think there's anything that scary there. Who are we sending in? Yeah, I think you guys should be able to handle this. So let's go ahead and send them in. 
Menace one five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. You know, we might actually have a pretty good line of sight for once. I'm on it, Commander. Yeah, let's put our sniper up on high ground. And hopefully, we can just kind of plop him here and have him, like, watch over the entire map. Oh, my lord. Speaking of densely packed missions, I see they have once again put all of the enemies right at the beginning. In fact, what, that's, uh, that's seven enemies right there out of the 14. There's probably another pot of, what, four here? So that puts us at 11 enemies, and then one more pot of probably three somewhere. I, I don't know if I had to guess, like, maybe near the exit. Probably a second pot over here. You know, realistically, there's another pot right around here. So, oh boy. All right, well, this is going to be fun exercise. So I guess we're going to take the high ground on this one. This is going to be a situation of how many enemies can we kill in one turn. Why can't I switch characters? Oh, it's because we spotted a turret. Okay, I was going to say, if we got spotted somehow, I'm going to actually have an aneurysm. Uh, we'll just overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Let's see, yeah, if they want to, like, they want to, like, group up right next to each other, that'd be really cool and convenient for us. Well, at least the drone left. That's one less thing to deal with. Okay, how do we want to do this? Probably move over here. Homing mine you. Then... Don't you ever get the ability to fire multiple grenades a turn? Okay, I guess we'll just roll with a rocket for now. Alright. We only killed one of them. That's kind of impressive. Okay, so we could probably shoot the mech on the right with our sniper, break concealment, shoot him again, get another kill, and then uh, go from there. Uh, we'll probably hack the turret. The turret will actually, if we hack that, that'll give us another attack anyway. Where's our sniper? There you are. Okay, so yeah, let's have you target him. You likely won't kill it. Then... Uh, I'm almost tempted to have you shoot someone else. Because, like, these guys really don't have a lot of health. So if we could, like, maybe sneak a grenade over there, that might be the move. However, getting a grenade over on these guys might also be the strat. And you don't have to light them up. So yeah, it's probably worth getting a grenade over here. And then have our sniper clean them up, I think. Wow, okay. One damage. That is less than ideal. Okay, yeah, we'll kill you. Enemy target eliminated. 
And then I think you're. Ooh, wait, hold on. How many? What? What are? What all are our options? So we could just taser this guy, and I think we're gonna try that. Quick zap, and then just taser you. Perfect. So we don't have to deal with you. Then we are going to haywire protocol of the turret, which this will probably reveal the drone, which is going to be inconvenient. But whatever, that's not that big of a deal. However, activating that pod is a little annoying. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll just have you shoot. And if you could kill him, that'd be terrific. Uh, or, <laughs> or we'll graze, because of course we will. I suppose you can see the shield bearer now, can you? No. We'll take you out. That leaves you. So we could teleport over here. Target eliminated. Justice you, so we don't put you in uh, proximity of the other pods quite yet. And then I think you still have an action, or you might have a move action, I don't recall. Yeah, whenever you're done T-posing. Oh, bro's in orbit. Fascinating. Okay, you only have a move, so I guess we'll just move you up to next to this guy. You won't be able to attack him, but, you know, whatever. Wait, they didn't attack. I don't fully understand how this works, honestly. Well, in that case, uh, who could you rapid fire? Not anyone we want. Um, we do want to check how long you're gonna be stunned for. Yeah, you're, you still have a while. So let's start on, okay, yeah, let's have our sniper shoot, I think the Viper. Because if we can draw the sectoid closer, we can probably just one-tap it with our melee. We once, once again left something at one health. And bro is staying as far away as physically possible. Okay, what can you see? Well, can we get lucky and get a kill here? Come on. Okay, you know what? Just kill this guy instead, then. That way we don't have to spend an action killing it. We can, uh... I mean, we still have to spend an action killing it, but we can use someone else's action to do so. We can just, uh, zoom on in here. I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. We, fr we ball. Okay, so we did activate another drone somewhere. X-ray neutralized. Oh, so there's another drone right next to this drone. Alright, well that's fine. Should be able to deal with these two. Especially, I say if they group up, we might be able to just kill them with an AoE. So if you kill... Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and kill you. Get death from above. And then put one of our shots into this guy, I guess. And then you can probably just combat protocol the other one, except you can't. Hold on, let's uh, let's move you. Okay, then you probably combat protocol one of these guys. Okay. 
And then... I don't know, man. Just shoot it, I guess. Oh. <laughs> this, is why, this is why I have to use so many guaranteed hits. Because this game is stupid. Alright. I was gonna have you shoot the, the turret, but I guess we have to have you shoot the two health drone. So we are physically incapable of landing shots. RNG just really doesn't want us to have a good time. I guess you can just come back and start working on the turret. Oh wow. Kind of surprised you hit it or killed it in one hit, but I guess you do, oh, like I said, dominated. crit for like 20 health. Then we don't have to worry about all our, uh, what's it called? Uh, mocks for once. So we don't really actually need to worry all that much. However, I would like to know where the remaining enemies are. Follow mode engaged. Wow, we still haven't found them. Are they actually over here? Follow mode engaged. Hmm, I feel like I saw a drone icon for like a split second. Alright, whatever. I guess we are just going to start pushing forward. Maximum range. Dash core activated. On the move. Engaging follow mode. Providing uh, Do we want to move you up? So we are, you have quite a long distance to go, so maybe we'll start trying to reposition you over here. Try to put you onto a different I'm building. And then, I don't know, I guess scoot up to here. Heading out. Where's this last pod? I'm tempted to just blow up the civilians, honestly. Because them being there is kind of annoying. Especially since I would like to come over this direction. Hostile pilot detected. Okay, well, there's the final pod. Uh, Alright, yep. There's someone in here, an Andromedon person I can't quite tell what you are and a annoying muton well let's just start throwing stickies on them uh, in that case let's move you over this direction heading to that location so I was going to move you onto this building with the anticipation of them being like on the left side but are you too far away? That's annoying. Headed there now. Tracking route to target. So we probably don't want to uh, open this quite yet, then, because I should call in reinforcements, and I'd rather not deal with the reinforcements plus this final pod. Engaging follow mode. Providing backup. Overwatch. Guard mode activated. Weapons on. Why are you guys like on opposite ends of the map from each other? So why did you fire with your pistol? I'll get it next time. Why on earth are you guys way over there? Why are you firing with your pistol? Bro, you have a minigun, use it. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay. Um, boom boy, the man with the bombs. I need you to shoot a rocket through this window. Yeah, that's good enough. We probably, there may have been a way we could hit all three of them, but I'd like to be able to do that. Okay, so if you 
now come up here. Um, like half, I'm half expecting it not to work. I don't think, I don't remember if you have sniper elite or not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, well. Heading out. Then screw cover. We're just hopping up on this rooftop. Or rooftop. We're just hopping on top of this building. Car, van, vehicle. There we go. This is what happens when you're spending more time thinking about what you're going to do and less time thinking about the words you're saying. Um... Why do I see a hack icon? Oh, probably just combat protocol. So let's just walk up and murder you. Oh. Bro hit him with the butt of his gun. That's not quite what I had in mind. This game really is broken, huh? The more I play it, the more I realize just how broken it is. Because we deliberately didn't open this container. But it, I guess it just decided to open. Breaking this man's face open was the, really the actual uh, key to the van. Um, can you see? No. Is there any chance you'll just crit and kill him? Can't even remember. Are you concealed right now? Nice miss, idiot. Okay. Um... Let's shotgun you. Hopefully kill. We did not. We left him at one health. Uh, we'll figure out what we're going to have you do here in just a second. Can we... Move to here. And you spray to finish off these guys. And also that civilian over there. Oh, actually, you're not going to finish him off. Oh, hey, a, a secret other civilian. Oh, two secret other civilians. Okay, well, you can see him now, so that's perfect. So now you can finish him off. And then you can steal the kill. All right. I'd say that went pretty well. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll hack the door anyway. Even though we moved the civilian or the, the VIP out of it already. Security but whatever, I'll take a large cache of intel. Gotta say, if the game's just gonna give it to me for free, might as well take it, right? And then I guess we're gonna start moving towards the roof. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Is there any chance we can get everyone out this turn? Uh, we can like somehow... What if we zoom over here, break a window with our face? Which will give us relocation, which will then let us not get to the evac. All right, well, we tried. That would have been really cool if it worked. Servos at maximum. Oh yeah, you're, you're just way too far. There's no way you're making it out. On your order. All right, let's get the VIP who we need to give action points to. That's not what I want. Give. Nope, hold on. Give. Points. You also can't make it out. Oh, that's because you're in the way. Ah. Uh... On the move. You. 
This is truly unfortunate. Follow load engaged. Alright, well, we'll see. Well, depending on what kind of reinforcements show up, we might actually want to kill them. Ooh, an armor viper who is right here. Why are you, why are you taking your overwatch shots with a pistol? You've never done this before. Why are you suddenly doing this? Incredible. Alright, can you... Is that within? No. Okay, let's teleport behind you. Nothing personal, kid. X-ray neutralized. Then... Uh, Yes, that's where I want to go. Grapple up to here. And shotgun you in the butt. Target eliminated. Now, is there any way? Oh my god. Is there any way we can kill this guy and get out? Or get this body. That's what I care more about. Hold on. This is Firebrand. The IP is secure. I'm on the move. I want this armored corpse. Yes, armored viper corpse. So we can get you out. Uh. You're a little on the low ammo side. Okay, you come up to here. So we can easily just evac, but I don't want to evac, I want to kill him. Yeah, 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 we're good. We got this. Oh, and they fell off the building. Left for dead trailer moment. Alright. Let's move you over here. I say you better have enough mobility to get out, and then you are still good to leave. Fantastic. For a second, I thought we were going to have to stay another turn, but we got an armored viper corpse on the way out, so that means we can make another fun weapon. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Very good. Alright, more promotions. Love to see it. So, for you, failsafe would be kind of convenient. Restoration would be more convenient. I do like this ability, and we go. Yeah, we'll grab fails. But we don't want to go too crazy. Cause if we buy every upgrade on everybody, we're going to run out of ability points. Uh, we do want salvo. Cause that would have been handy. Uh, javelin rockets are pretty cool. Increase range by six, and you may hit targets beyond your visual range. That would be pretty cool. So would quick burn. All right, we're getting both. And then for you, yeah, you, we didn't pick up the infantry uh, one, so we're not going to get kill them all, which is unfortunate. So we'll get salvo and then rupture. I mean, kill zone is. Maybe. It's like discount kill them all. Okay. So with that, we can probably Hello, Commander. go about building another Viper weapon. Now, if only we could get a Warple corpse, because that would have been probably more beneficial to us. Now, yeah, I think we want to build one of these guys. Yeah, we'll build another one. You still actually need to give that to one of our drop team members. The problem is that it would be really nice if both or all three of our drop team members actually dropped. Alright, so we have someone in this. Yeah, we are we have someone in each HQ that we actually have sight on. So, we just keep scanning. Uh, looks like we're going to have... 
I don't care. Not a liberation, we don't care. Blackguard's mission will be done here in just a second. Oh, come on, let me scan. There we go. Okay, yeah, we'll probably just hop right in here and uh, steal another tower. Move to infiltrate the network tower. All right. The access point and hack in to We've see seen this before. So let's do it again. Okay, so we are going to spot our first pod. Maybe we'll get lucky and all 14 enemies won't be directly on top of us like last time. I lost for my revenge. Follow mode. Impressed dash capacity. And then you don't really need to scoop forward. I think you're probably fine where you are. So those guys aren't particularly beefy, so... If we can get a sticky in there and then a grenade, I think we might be able to just kill them all in one go. You do have stickies. Oh, you don't. That's so tragic. Okay, um... We can still make this work. Have you come up here. Then move to... What's your throwing arm like? I also have to account for the fact that it'll be inside of a building, so probably like here. here I come. Go near. Oh, another pod. Gross. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. I think we actually can hit all of them. Very cool. Now just phase that claymore through a wall. And then. Oh, do we don't even have a grenade, do we? That does complicate the situation ever so slightly. We could throw an EMP, which is actually very good against robots, go figure, but like, not quite what I had in mind. Will this, I don't think this triggers claymores. I think we already found that out. Um, hold on, you have, you have rupture bullets, right? Blaze bullets, hmm. Acid bullets? Is that the way to go? I think we just risk it for the biscuit. Go with an electric bullet and see if it'll detonate the uh, thing. If it doesn't, eh, it's just one claymore. Claymores don't get really huge until we... Oh, it actually did get the thing. Very cool. Okay, claymores don't get, like, really all that important until the... Uh... How did you not spot it? Oh, wow. That is very convenient that he chose that cover. Okay, let's have you zoom over here. Just break that wall with your face. And then, uh, kill. Slaughter. <laughs> nice. Your target has been eliminated. Alright, uh, let's put you up on here. And, um, I don't really know where to put you, honestly. So I guess, like, right here, worst case scenario, we can move you if needed. But that's probably good enough for now. And I guess you can push up to here for now. Okay, so we'll probably get revealed here. We didn't. Okay. Well, I moved my mouse off screen while I was putting chapstick on, and immediately, immediately we're staring into the void. If only there was a way we could spot these this group before, um, like with our electric gun, I should say, before we commit to that. Let's move you inside the building. Is there any way we can get another claymore over here? Oh, maybe. Perfect. Now the problem is that you are not. Ooh, but capacitor discharge might be the move here. So if we move you up to here. 
can probably snake our capacitor discharge right around this corner. And this will probably blow up the thing unless it doesn't. Be sure it did. Also, wow, that did not do nearly as much damage to the robots as I was expecting. It claims it does extra damage to robots, but I have a feeling it mitigated, or its armor mitigated almost all of it. Um, now the problem is, you don't have to light them up. But, we should be able to remedy that by just shooting them to death. Break another window with your face once again. And gun them down. So that should be an easy kill. Hopefully you'll hit this guy. That should be... Okay, pretty good damage. And then... Oh, that's a kill. I was actually a little scared about that one. Threat eliminated. Ah, uh, now the question is, how are we going to deal with you? Because you are bits of a troublemaker. Ooh, we can just blow you up. Hopefully that'll kill you. That'd be nice. Detonate the man. Wow, that did virtually nothing. Can we do it again? Apparently yes, actually. De de detonate the man in round two. Can we deal a little bit more damage though this time? There we go. That's what I like to see. That's pretty cool and dramatic. Probably should have moved you forward actually, but yeah, whatever. Also, did they spawn behind us? Bro, do I have to backtrack to come kill you? Are you for real? Do you realize how annoying you are right now? On the move. Okay. I actually wouldn't mind you spotting our sniper right now just so we can get an overwatch shot off and kill someone, hopefully. <sighs> Making me bro. Come on. I mean I guess no, I'll say I guess I don't need to, but no, I do actually. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to manifest right in front of them. Like this is like they're playing Fear One. Actually, no, I'm thinking of Fear Two. And then you're gonna hit them with a Void Rift. Oh, you can't hit all of them. Okay, whatever. Okay, whichever one Alma just like uh, mulches one of your teammates, like right in front of you. I won't say who. In case anyone, for some reason, hasn't played one of the Fear games. You know, an ancient game that is very old. Um, but, you know. I'm actually, I've, I've thought about playing Fear on this channel. Or maybe not me. I don't know. I There's someone I kind of want to make play Fear. Because they don't like horror games very much. So, I kind of want to make them play the game. And then I would watch... And uh, we'd, we'd do commentary. Um, but I don't know. I might also just play Fear because I, I really like Fear. It's a good game. Uh, is there anyone else who can come grab this? There is. Fantastic. Um, I know people hate Fear 3 because it's like a terrible Fear game. But I actually really like Fear 3. Like mostly just because of like gameplay mechanics um okay yeah you know screw it yeah if you haven't played fear 3 yet and you're interested well i'm about to spoil it for you so uh get pranked i guess mute for the next 30 seconds but um the uh i really like playing as fettle in fear 3 uh like being able to like take control of enemies and stuff like that is super cool i think it's like a very unique play style and i've never seen that in another game so yeah i fear 3 is an awful fear game but it's a i think it's a really good game on its own well i wouldn't say really good it's a it's a very fun game on its own like i said it's just not a good fear game kind of like i from what i understand a lot of people really liked Bioshock Infinite, I think. 
Um, I thought it was a good game, but I didn't think it was a good fear game, or fear game. I didn't think it was a good Bioshock. Like, Bioshock is all, like, spooky and underwater and stuff, but then Bioshock Infinite was decidedly not spooky at all. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Um... Can we just murder these guys? Do we have any? I think we already established we don't have any kind of rockets. Is there any chance you can just teleport in there again? No, not yet. Also, Void Rift is on cooldown. All right, yeah, Sniper it is. Um, let's take out the Muton first, because I feel like Mutons are always the scariest target out of like any column of normal troops. It's always the muton who's the problem. Now, that being said though, the vipers are also kind of a concern. The fact that they all immediately ran into cover away from our sniper is, while clever, very annoying. Especially since the one person who is still within line of sight decided to stay up here. So in that case, we're just going to pop kill them all because, well, you're not getting the other bit. Uh, you're not getting death from above. Dang. It's unfortunate we didn't get the kill there. <coughs> okay. Well. Follow mode engaged. Oh, you're not the person I thought you were. Hold on. I was looking for you and your psionic abilities. Mm, do we want to just... Yeah, I think we just soul fire you. Bonk the noggin. Cybernetic modules. And then you... Do we want to just combat protocol you? Uh, that's not going to get the kill, though. That's annoying. Also, before we do anything else... Is there any way... You come over here, you might be flanking several of them, and you are. Oh, but of course, there's another pod. Why wouldn't there be another pod with an eyesight immediately? There always is, never fails. And let me guess. Oh no, we actually are in covers. That's a blessing for once. Uh, okay. Let's pop a scan. I want to see where those guys are. Because if we can at least hit all everyone inside the building with Blaze Bullet, that'd be nice. Oh, we can hit the Muton. And the, um... This dude. So this will likely kill both of them. God, it should kill or light the Muton on fire. Eliminate target. Except it didn't because that... Yeah, I feel like whoever made that mod just didn't actually make sure it works. Because, like, nine times out of ten, AoE doesn't actually hit anything. And that's kind of annoying, I'll be honest. So you could theoretically teleport over there and go kill them. I think we're going to want to take control of the turret. chance you can see anything yeah you have squad sight so I guess I guess you just shoot at your best target or your best chance to hit target if you could just miraculously kill him no you, you won't even hit him All right, that's fine uh boy so we're not killing everything that's for sure hopefully the muton will light on fire since his tiles on fire so I guess what we're gonna do is teleport over here. Now you aren't gonna be able to kill both of these guys. Wait, how can you teleport again? So you definitely kill this guy, but then the Spectre is gonna take control of you because he's a dirtbag. 
How does Kenjutsu work? So if we melee again in blue, that should theoretically not end our turn. Do we still have an action? No, we don't. Wait, we don't even get our movement action. Oh, that's lame. Okay, well. I guess we're gonna start moving over here to go help out. Seeing as how they're almost guaranteed to immediately mind control us with their stupid shenanigans. Ugh. Wait, and you get a shot? Wow, that's impressive. Ow. Well, that's surprising that they didn't immediately just try to steal our character. It's also more impressive that I'm like 90% sure you're supposed to have untouchable. Do you not have untouchable? I could have sworn you had it. Wait, how would you not have it? Your max rank and you do have that tree. Did I just never pick it up? That'd be very strange. Well, I mean, we can just gun you down. Especially if we graze on a 100%. That is truly incredible. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. I was say, bro... <laughs> The game really does enjoy making us struggle, huh? Right, let's let's see if we can't give them lucky damage. That's a pretty good hit. And can we do it a second time? Not quite. Um, where is there? You are okay. You actually have a hard time hitting him. That's kind of surprising. Oh my god. Ah, uh, do I just combat protocol him? No, you can just teleport. Except, not far enough. Alright, let's just vivisect you. Do that. We don't actually use your psionic attacks very often, but uh, yeah, we they're, they're still there. They are definitely still there. We are not close enough to see this guy, which is annoying. Let's just run and gun in here. Maybe we can shoot him to death. Okay, whatever. Dash core online. And then I guess you move over here to grab the loot. Choose your upgrades. Okay, Why can you rapid fire this guy? There we go. And then, ideally, I would like you to go hack the thing, but I'd also kind of want to shoot this with an electric bullet just because. Oh, no, that'll, that'll friendly fire. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Collateral damage sustained from fire. Oh, come on. Wait, how did you take damage? Did she, like... She didn't... Oh, maybe... Did she, like, land directly on top of you? Bro, are you serious? <sighs> we probably won't be in the hospital for that. Follow mode engaged. Target in range. Move to hack the command console. Might as well. But at least this way it'll boost your hack stat even further. And we don't have to deal with the reinforcements that are about to show up. Status confirmed. We have control of the network tower. The signal is going out. All right, very nice. I wondered how the new gear would hold up, Commander. Looks to me All like right. it's working out just fine. No hospital time, that's great. 
We hate, we hate doctors around here. All right, so we're ready to go take them on, which I guess might as well. Setting course for Sector 5, India. Man, so the next like episode or two is just gonna be rapid firing HQs, huh? Yeah, I don't think there's anything I really need to change here, so we just we ball. Man, I'm I'm getting uh, starting to get kind of hungry thinking about dinner, and I was originally gonna make like um, some kind of like um, porcupine meatball or like a shepherd's pie or something. But now I just had an idea of like, what if I made a burger, but like, kind of like the ones you find in the store where it's just like filled with stuff. What if I just like dice up like a onion, a bell pepper, dice up some cheese and just like mix it in with the meat and then cook it and see what happens. That might be kind of fun. Oh man. Avengers see, now I'm just getting hungry. Board. The problem is, oh, I just realized, I don't know if I have any buns. That would be truly tragic. Just like not having another mission to immediately jump into. I mean, I guess we have this one, but that's a lot of enemies I don't want to deal with. A Icarus armor is done. New orders, Commander. Um, we probably want to a give that to somebody and b build the better Icarus armor. Huh. Okay. Well, is it just the better version already, then? Uh, there's something else I was going to do. I do kind of want to go ahead and kit out our teams with, like, some of the loot. Because I know we have two of the Gatling rifles. We have... We have that new shotgun. Which side on? Do we ever actually build that new shotgun? Yeah, here we go. This thing. The, uh... The magnetic auto shotgun. An extremely powerful shotgun is capable of firing multiple shots in quick succession. I'm very curious how this works. Yeah, we'll go ahead and build it. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're I am curious. It's unfortunate though that it's a magnetic auto shotgun. I wonder if there's a way to boost it further, but I have a feeling that's probably not the case. I'm also it's this. Huh. I wonder why we haven't gotten the ability to uh, build this quite yet. Do we need the frost bomb? Do we? I wonder if we break down the frost bomb. Interesting. But yeah, that's probably. Oh yeah, like I was saying, I, I kind of want to kit out our guys. We have two Gatling rifles. The shotgun we're making. Why are we here? And then the brain dangly we made. So we do have quite a few things we can be working or kidding our guys out with, but I'm not exactly sure who I want to give it to. to be an important step forward. I don't even remember what this gives us. Pochetti gun? Control grenades. What is that? Combination of shrapnel, flashbang, and smoke. The initial explosion is powerful enough to shred armor and inflict bleeding while also disorienting enemies and enveloping them in a cloud of smoke granting cover. I guess this would be good for if you have like a very aggressive team. So like you throw in the grenade and then send in like our samurai for example. Uh, have him go in and melee stuff and then he can just chill in the smoke. But I feel like that's a bad idea because you're just giving the enemies cover. Uh, hyperdrive serum injector vest. Interesting. Machete gun. Are small razor sharp projectiles designed to embed themselves in bones and joints to hinder mobility? Very interesting. However, I think we are now officially done with all researches we can be working on. So, in that case, it's probably time to start working on the shadow chamber. So, I guess we'll do this. Is there anything else? No, we're. Um, let's go to the, this place. I want to look at the flechette gun. I want to look at both. I want to look at a couple things. If only we didn't have two million weapons to dig through. 
Oh, the flechette gun is apparently under the items tab. Good to know. Uh, so what does it do? It does one damage. Hinder mobility. So is this like the... Is this like the ability of the Reaper that uh, stops a unit from moving altogether? Because that actually could be very valuable if that's the case. Um, we could give this on somebody to really stop things from moving around. So this would be great against the Berserker Omega. And then the Control Grenade does 4 damage on impact, 1 shred, which is honestly not that amazing for a shredding grenade. Like, that's kind of half of its purpose. And then a flashbang is nice. Smoke, sure. So, I don't know, that just... It doesn't really... Wait, and limiting the mo uh, movement of large groups of enemies. Control grenades are effective at neutralizing... I guess it would limit the movement of large groups by the flashbang, but at that point, I could just flashbang them. Like, yeah, the shred is definitely nice, too. And, like, I would rather a flashbang that deals damage, but the smoke on that just seems like a bad combination because, like, like I said before, you're, you're just giving the targets you're trying to attack cover. Smoke grenades are good because you can use them on your own position and not on the enemy. But, like I said, I guess that'd be good in a very aggressive play style where you just go in there with melee that has, like, tremendous aim. Or, like, shotguns when you're, like, right next to them. You're probably still going to hit anyway. Yeah, maybe, like, a super hyper-aggressive playstyle. That would work really well. Um, we could actually build one of these finally. So, another thing that was interesting about this is that it says that the item... Oh, no, it's the beacon that's thrown. Yeah, it says the beacon is destroyed after a single use. But... It says in the description that the uh, dimensional rift generator needs to recharge after activation, preventing this item to be used more than once per mission. I'll build it. This, I guess, would let us call in our third member of the drop team, funny enough. But the problem is we would need multiple rift beacons for it to actually truly work. Because the idea is we can just drop them in whenever. But, you know, I wonder if we... I wonder if it's because he has a Gatling gun. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do some testing off screen and experiment and see if I can't figure it out. Because having all three members of our drop team and then have someone else we can rift beacon in on like the final mission would be very handy. Because we could effectively summon in four extra soldiers. And that would be very beneficial to us. Uh, is there any anything we can see here that might help us with that no it does not quite look like that yeah i'm not really sure what the deal with that is but yeah i think this is probably a good place to end this episode so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one